Welcome to Premath. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation 6 power x plus 9 power x equals to 2 power 2x plus 1. And we are going to find the value of x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this part on the right hand side. And here I have copied it down. And now let's recall this product rule. So we can uh, write this 2 power 2x plus 1 as 2 power 2x times 2 power 1. And now let's recall this power rule. So we can write this part as 2 power 2 and then power x wrote it down as a nested exponents and this 2 power 1 is same as 2 and now we can see that 2 power 2 is same as 4 therefore this could be written as 4 power x and then times 2 so thus our this given equation is simply is going to become the left hand side is going to stay same 6 power x plus 9 power x equals to on the right hand side I'm going to replace that by 4 power x and then times 2 and now let's go ahead and divide across the board by 4 power x 4 power x over here and 4 power x on the right hand side as well and now we can see on the right hand side 4 power x and 4 power x they are gone and on the left hand side we are going to use this rule so this could be written as 6 divided by 4 whole power x plus likewise 9 divided by 4 whole power x equals to 2 and now let's focus on this part, uh, 9 divided by 4. And 9 divided by 4, I have just copied it down. And here, 9 could be written as uh, 3 square divided by 4 could be written as uh, 2 square. So therefore, this whole thing could be written as 3 divided by 2 whole square. And now let's revert our attention back to our original equation. 6 divided by 4 could be reduced to 3 divided by 2 whole power x plus this next term 9 divided by 4 could be written as 3 divided by 2 whole square and then a whole power x equals to 2. And now let's recall this rules of exponent x power a and then power b equals to x power a times b and now if i write it other way around x power b and then power a this is equal to x power b times a and now we know that a times b equals to b times a so therefore we conclude that these left hand sides are equal now let's focus on this equation so the first term i'm gonna just leave it as it is 3 divided by 2 whole power x plus uh, let's focus on this second term we are going to use this uh, rules of exponent so this could be written as 3 divided by 2 whole power x and then uh, whole square equals to 2 now to make things simple let's go ahead and make a substitution let's focus on this uh, 3 divided by 2 whole power x and over here 3 divided by 2 whole power x let me go ahead and let uh, u equals to 3 divided by 2 whole power x so therefore our this equation could be written as u plus uh, u square equals to 2 let's go ahead and move this uh, on the left hand side and we can rearrange everything so this could be written as u square plus u minus 2 equals to 0 
And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by factoring. And now let's focus on this uh, u. This u could be written as 2u minus 1u. So therefore we can write u square plus uh, 2u minus u and then minus 2 equals to 0. In the very first two terms, we can see that u is in common. We can factor it out. We got u plus 2. In the second two terms, negative 1 is in common. We can factor it out. So we got u plus 2 equal to 0. And here we can see that u plus 2 is in common. So I can write u plus 2 and then times u minus 1 equals to 0. And now let's go ahead and separate these two factors. We can write this one as u plus 2 equal to 0. And the other one I can write u minus 1 equals to 0. And now we can focus on this first equation u plus 2 equal to 0. Let's move this uh, two on the other side. So u turns out to be negative 2. But we know that our u, we assume that this is equal to 3 divided by 2 power x. So I'm going to replace this one by 3 divided by 2 whole power x equals to negative 2. Now we can see this exponential function equals to negative number which is a false statement. So therefore we are going to reject this scenario. Now let's focus on this other equation u minus 1 equal to 0. Let's move this negative 1 on the other side so u turns out to be positive 1. And once again u is equal to 3 divided by 2 power x. So let me go ahead and replace it. This one 3 divided by 2 whole power x equals to 1. And now this one we can write this one we can manipulate this thing this could be written as 3 divided by 2 whole power 0 and on the left hand side we are going to keep the same thing 3 divided by 2 whole power x and now we can see that our bases are same on both sides so therefore we can equate our exponents by using this uh, property so therefore this could be written as x equal to 0 and that is our only solution. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to 0. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.